Good evening. Should labor laws apply differently to you depending on where you work? That's what's happening under a secretive Ontario government order that says more than 100,000 auto workers are entitled to fewer sick days than the rest of us. And the reasons behind that decision have some labor advocates worried that your protections at work could be next. Here's Christina Howard with this City News investigation. Last month, the Liberals passed Bill 148, bringing in some pretty big changes for workers, a $15 minimum wage, leave for victims of domestic violence, and 10 emergency days off, two of which are paid. But Ontario's auto workers only get seven days, all unpaid, a move some say was dictated by corporations, not the public interest. It feels like they honestly don't care what our say is in this and how it affects us. And we feel discriminated against as opposed to everybody else in the province who is going to get their 10 days, get the benefits of the Employment Standards Act, and we're left not even knowing if we're even covered under the Employment Standards Act. Katrina Dix has worked on the assembly line at Toyota for eight years. She, like many others, was blindsided by the change. Prior to this year, we've been on 10. Uh, we've had 10 sick days. Um, and so at this point now we're, we're looking at seven and it's supposed to continue. While changes to the Employment Standards Act were passed with big fanfare last month, another directive was passed in relative secrecy. Regulation 502 sets out that auto sector employees are entitled to a leave of absence without pay of a total of seven days in each calendar year. I don't know what the government's thinking at this point. Um... Uh, we've, we've tried talking to MPPs, no one's giving a straight answer. They're saying it's a pilot program, but there's no end date, there's no um, feedback from the people that are affected by it. The Ministry of Economic Development is calling the fewer sick days a pilot project, but doesn't have an end date. We question the Minister of Labour's office, which oversees the Employment Standards Act, about the program. They told us to speak to the Ministry of Economic Development instead, because that's where this regulation comes from. Sources familiar with the file say that the exemption for auto workers is the result of intense lobbying from foreign automakers. Staff for the minister didn't respond to questions about that. Instead, in a statement, a spokesperson writes, Ontario auto companies have a unique set of challenges. They're tremendously important to our economy. They employ thousands of people in well-paying jobs across the province, and they're also operating in a particularly competitive global sector. And there's more to this story coming up. Why one lawmaker says criticizing the Liberals for letting corporations dictate legislation and what this could mean for your workplace. The new Employment Standards Act was supposed to create a more fair working environment for all Ontarians. So why did it exclude an entire industry? I'm Christina Howard. Coming up, how a secret cabinet directive made sure that 100,000 workers got less benefits than everyone else. It's one of the most important sectors in the Ontario's economy, but thanks to a behind-the-scenes government regulation, its workers aren't being afforded the same rights and protections as most everybody else in the province. I'm Christina Howard in front of the Chrysler casting plant in Etobicoke, one of several auto part plants where its workers are being treated differently than everyone else. Last month, while the Ontario government was touting changes to labour laws as a major breakthrough for workers, in cabinet back rooms, politicians were signing off on a regulation that singles out Ontario's 100,000 auto workers for fewer benefits, including three fewer sick days than almost everyone else in the province. For me to have less days than somebody, and I'm not saying any other jobs, you know, not, not just as hard, but like for someone who's sitting behind a desk is insanity. William Murray has been working at the Toyota plant for 15 years. This year, he and his co-workers got a big surprise, a 30% reduction in sick days, days that are now standard for every other worker in a provincially regulated job. I don't know what the government's thinking at this point. Um, We've tried talking to MPPs, no one's giving a straight answer. They're saying it's a pilot program, but there's no end date, there's no um, feedback from the people that are affected by it. In a quiet back corner of the legislature, the Liberals approved a regulation that limits auto and auto part workers to seven unpaid days a year, a move that sources familiar with the file say the auto sector has been demanding for quite some time. You know, somebody lobbied them, you know, uh, and said, you know, we need this, and so they just quietly did it, and then we kind of found out about it 
as it was happening. But the NDP couldn't stop it. The Ministry of Economic Development is behind the change, not the Labour Ministry, which is in charge of employment standards. We asked the Office of Economic Development Minister Brad Duguid if foreign multinationals such as Honda and Toyota were influencing government policy on Ontario workers. The office didn't respond. A spokesperson instead writing, Ontario auto companies have a unique set of challenges. They're tremendously important to our economy. They employ thousands of people in well-paying jobs across the province, and they're also operating in a particularly competitive global sector. So where every other worker in the province will get the 10 um the, the 10 days with two paid for either personal emergency, sick, sick leave or bereavement leave, these workers won't. How towing to companies over, over workers' rights? They honestly don't care what our say is in this and how it affects us. And we feel discriminated against as opposed to everybody else in the province who is going to get their 10 days, get the benefits of the Employment Standards Act, and we're left not even knowing if we're even covered under the Employment Standards Act. Although this was initially introduced as a pilot project, there's no end date planned for this endeavor. Now, the NDP critic for Labour says she plans to introduce a private member's bill in the spring that will bring auto workers the same rights as everyone else, but that's still several months away.